Hello and welcome to this video tutorial. My name is Zangi Muimi from quantbuild.co.ke. In this video tutorial, I'm going to show you how to model terrain in Archicad. Now, this assignment assumed that, or it assumes that we have received a topographical survey report from the project's land surveyor and the report is in the form of uh, a map that shows the contours with their respective heights and the height values are given in meters or rather millimeters and for the assignment, we are going to use the PDF as a trace reference in Archicad for us to sketch the outline of our landscape and then we can go ahead and input the values. The process is a step by step that I have prepared for you the first thing is to change the scale from 1 is to 100 to 1 is to 500 after that I will create a new worksheet and rename the new worksheet topographical survey so come here right click new independent worksheet for the name type topographical survey and click create once that is created want us to import our PDF here and we go to file external content select place external drawing so trace where I have uh, saved the drawing in my flash disk like it's called site plan dot PDF then click open now place it here so this is the site plan as you can see and these dotted lines are our contour lines with their respective heights these heights are given in millimeters and this line is showing the extent to which our site covers. After that, I'll go to the ground floor. And the ground floor is where our building will start. Uh, we need to create a new story below the ground floor. And this is where we are going to have our terrain. So I'll right click here and choose create new story the new story will be inserted below now call it terrain terrain story click create once that is created and activated I will uh, activate trace reference the one to show the topographical survey worksheet as a trace reference in my terrain story so I'll go here in work under worksheets now right click topographical survey and show as a trace reference and I do that you can be able to see 
our site layout as in uh, the independent worksheet that we had created and what I'm going to do is I will delete these viewpoints so I'll select them come here and delete delete the viewpoints for well, the next step is to trace the contour lines using the spline tool and the spline tool is found here this is the spline tool I'll click on it to activate it then I'll choose uh, this color and I'll start tracing now for this assignment it's not what I'm trying to say is accuracy is is, is not what we are pursuing what the, the thing that I want to achieve is to show you how to go about this process that means I can do a rough sketch or a rough tracing of the lines for illustration purposes only but if you're working on a live project on a real project you will require you'll be required to be very keen with your drawing and accuracy will be of very high impact to the project so let me in a very short time trace those contour lines and we after that we will go to the next step Make sure you are using a keycard plane tool. Double click. Trace that one. So as I said earlier, if you are working on a real project, you will need to be very careful with these lines so that the accuracy of uh, your design is not compromised. For me, I am just doing a rough sketch to use it to illustrate to you how to go about the process. and that's it I have my contour lines sketched the next thing is to draw the outline of the land or rather the site using this the the mesh tool and the mesh tool is found under design this is the mesh tool rather you can go here up here under design design tools and select mesh tool then I will use a polygonal method I will draw my my site layout rather the the shape of my site or the landmass again as I said it's a rough sketch for me to be able to explain to you how to go about modeling your terrain. Now, once you are ready, you you've done that, I want us to deactivate de deactivate the trace reference so that this gray background goes, and we are left with our contour lines and the mesh, but. We will still require to use be required to use a, 
a few a few a few items from the trace because when we deactivate it like this this is what we'll, we will be left with but i think we can work with this first and then i'll take you back to the trace for some referencing so the next step is to create ridge lines and you do that by holding the shift button select the mesh then with your button that is the space bar hold the space for hold the space bar down and click on that spline line which is representing a contour line and it will give you some uh, options new mesh points select down here fit to all ranges and click ok now do that to all the contours And when you are through the process, you can uh, navigate to the 3D, the 3D window. And in the 3D window, you can be able to see what we have been uh, doing in a 3D format. This is our site with the contour lines visible. The next thing that I want us to do is to have these lines with their specific heights so that we can see how uh, the ground slopes and the actual appearance of our landscape. So let's go back to terrain story and I will activate the trace reference and then using control d I'll move this to that side For us to input the height values, the terrain, or rather the mesh, needs to be selected first. After selecting the mesh, I'll come here to this point, and I'll click on that point, and I'll use this option, elevate mesh point, that it will... Uh, pop up some option asking me the height of that point so before you do that let me check the height of the first contour line which is uh, 1694 this one then I'll go back and type 1694 which is millimeters and make sure that this option apply all is checked click ok uh, the next contour line is 1696 so come up here select this point write 1696 apply to all click ok The next 1697 come to this point 1697 this is 1698 
the rest is 1699 1699 the last one is 1700 click ok now let's go back to 3d and see how it looks you can see after inputting some height values some ridges have been formed with the height variations so what I'm going to do for this thing to appear well is uh, I'll go back to go back to the terrain story I want the last point here to be 1700 and this 2 to be 1700 then down here I will put 1692 this point 1692 this 1692 click ok then go back to 3d and see how it looks you can see it's a uniform but if you look at it closely you can be able to tell that uh, our land is sloping towards uh, this point so this is the lower ground this is the upper ground so for you to for us to be able to see the variations keenly maybe let's let me show you using another option here i'll go here to spline tool and i'll create my contours let's have a third one And then put a mesh. So select this mesh. Hold the, the space bar button. Click on that. And OK. And OK. So let's go here. Check and see whether we can see the new landmass the next option is to have this as a 3d so I'll go back to terrain story click on this point now enter 4500 click ok the next one is 5200 click ok and the next one is 6500 okay so this corner here i'll put seven thousand this corner is two seven thousand and then this is four thousand and this is four thousand okay so if you go back to 3d you can clearly see the variations now they are very clear on your 3D terrain so as simple as that 
that is how to build a terrain in Akikad and I hope you like this video I hope it has been of a help to you and you can uh, you are free to recommend it to your friends and other other colleagues that you think will be interested in such a tutorial hope you consider subscribing to my youtube channel it helps me in growing the channel and knowing that i have a community of people that are learning from the resources that i create thank you for watching the tutorial let me see you in the next video Cheers.